I have a lot of stuff to do, um, but instead I feel like writing music, so that's what I'm going to do. So I wanted to show you guys how I write songs and like what I do. And so I might do like a, a little mini song today. Also, yes, I am in my closet. Just so you know. So I start out on noteflight.com. So this is where you can write sheet music. I don't always start with this, but this is like what I've been doing. It's all blank, so I gotta fill it up. So I usually start with either just putting random like things in that I think would work, like a key signature, key signature and just like putting notes in and then like hearing that and then seeing what works with that. Or I go with something I started to already write on piano. Or sometimes I just like pick some chords that I think work together. Or I start on my ukulele. I kind of have a different few few different ways of starting, but like once it gets onto the computer, this is this is the website I start with usually. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go with B flat major today. So all the B's are flat and all the E's are gonna be flat automatically. Also, this is not necessary because I never I didn't always have this, but I have a little MIDI keyboard, so that makes things easier. And like a good pair of headphones, so I'm going to use that today. So, when I put this in here, it, it should have put it in there. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? So anyway, I play the chord. Oops, I just pressed the button. Okay. And then it shows up here. So that'll be, that's a B flat. And then I'll just change around the rhythm a little bit. So, I just changed up the rhythm so it sounds like this. And I'm just going to repeat that a little bit. That's just a B flat chord. So with that rhythm. Paste. So we'll just do a few of those. So I put random notes in. Just a few quarter notes. It was just E flat E, E flat E. Um, it doesn't sound the best. So I changed it around a little bit. And then I just copied these two measures and just did the same exact thing for the other two measures. So this is the whole thing so far. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but just bring it a third down. So I'll show you that too. So I just took this whole line and just copied and pasted it. So I have two of the same line. Ah, I'm clicking things now. I'm trying to get rid of that thing. Okay, there we go. And I'm just bringing the whole thing down. One, two. I'll press play. Beginning. I think I'm going to switch up like a couple of the notes in that second part, but overall it sounded okay. I just kind of went by ear and just added some stuff that I liked. So I changed around kind of a lot of the notes and I changed around a little bit down here to switch it up at the end. I just brought a couple notes down, a couple chords, uh, and this is what it sounds like. So this is what this row sounds like now. So I guess you can call that the first verse. Um, so I'm going to switch it up a little bit, add a little bit of a different melody, like with a different rhythm. I'll just play around a little bit on the MIDI keyboard and see what sounds good. But right now I have it set to not like put in any notes while I play this. Just so I can kind of hear it a little bit. You might not hear it very well. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm just going to mess around in the, in the key. So. If you go to transcribe right there, I can I can play and it just puts it in the sheet music. And it's not the most accurate in the world, but this is what I do. There you go. Oh, okay. Totally did the wrong note at the end there, but this is what it'll look like. So it'll like load it for a second. And this is what it says I did. I had to fix it up a little bit. So let me let me fix it up. Okay, this is what I've got. I kind of added a little bit at the end there. I'm still uncertain about that part, but like, we'll see. I found a good rhythm here. So like, I'm going to take this 
rhythm and like change the notes around. So I did the same rhythm with a couple different notes and then I just did some quarter notes for this next part because I thought it was getting a little bit complicated with the rhythm so I just wanted to like soothe it up a little bit if those are the right words. I don't know. I just wanted to like simplify it a little bit for this little part but it actually sounds really good so here's how it sounds. <laughs> So I just played it through again and realized that I just like accidentally have these two measures in here. It sounds kind of silly. <laughs> I've been using um, like just putting some of the notes in and just like pressing the up and down arrow. Oops. Instead of using the MIDI keyboard sometimes, which is really funny because I stopped writing songs for a while because I didn't have the chord for this. But like sometimes like I don't even use it. But anyway, so I added this little ending. So it's just these two measures and then I added a little bit of a difference at the end. And then you get to see what it looks like when I do the next step, which is really cool. Yeah, I changed this note from, from this to that and it sounds better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so now I'm done with this part. And so I'm going to take this whole song and just download it. So, oops, wrong thing. So I just go into, what do I go into? Score. And then I go into export. Oh, also save. Save your progress every once in a while. I like didn't press that button this whole time. So anyway, I export it as MIDI. So not as like a MP3 or like a wave for people to listen to. I save it as MIDI. And then I go on to another website called BandLab. So now I am in BandLab and I just go to import audio slash MIDI. And then the song I just downloaded, which I just realized is like untitled. So it's just called mid.midi, I think. Um, oh, I heard my kitty meow. It just, it just pops right up into here and then it's all set for you and you can do whatever you want with it. So... It has like the piano and piano too because I had the treble and bass clef. And now I can switch it to turn it into different instruments, but this is what it sounds like on here so far. Okay, so this one it's not it, but it just sounds really cute, so I just wanted to show you. It might sound terrible in your opinion, but like, I don't know, it's like really annoying, but also really cute. It's called Dirty Porto Fifth. Um, it's kind of like chiptune-y. This is what it sounds like. This part sounds kind of terrible, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, some of the um, instruments don't go like as high as other instruments, like their range is different. So with this song specifically, I can't use one that I actually really want to use. So it's really cute, but it doesn't get up to the high notes over here. It's this one. It doesn't play the note, unfortunately. So I went with the um the bottom notes the bass clef being lo-fi piano setting which i use often if you listen to my ep and then the other one top one is whirlizer well the low one is yeah that's what i said okay anyway <laughs> so it sounds like this So I think I'll keep this one simple and not like add little things in the background, but like I could do more with this, but this was just kind of to show you the basics of it, of what I do. Um, I didn't record anything for this song. Sometimes I record like my instruments or my voice and I layer it, but this time it was just MIDI really. This song along with other songs are going to be free to use. I'm going to make this little, um, little collection of songs you can use for YouTube videos or reels or just anything like that, like TikToks, um, audio, just things you would use an audio for or like background music for, or you can just listen to it yourself.
So make sure you follow me for more details and read the caption of this and everything. So I hope you follow for more. If you liked this, if you watched the whole thing, let me know because that's, that's neato. Yeah, okay. I'm not good with outros. I'm just going to say bye. <laughs> okay, bye.